Well, haven't we got the special haul today? Um, I bought on eBay for £60, 200 plus sci-fi books. We're about to find out what they are. I'm just going to show you. This is what I've received. There's a lot there. Um, they're heavy as well. So we're about to see what's in them. Right. Let the madness begin. I might have to film a box at a time, otherwise my voice is going to go. All right, little box first. Little box first. Um, I think the guy I got this from said this was his dad's collection and his dad passed away. Well, I think his dad had passed away and his mom had been looking after it and then his mom passed away. So it is at least nice to get these back in circulation. I'll link to my eBay store below. Basically, the ones that I don't add to my reading list are just going to go straight up for resale on the eBay store. Did get a bit of a bargain on this. Um, a lot of sci-fi books are at least a fiver on eBay. Um, and I guess even if I sell them for £5, it costs me £2 to post them. That's £3 profit for each. So I only have to sell 20 of these 200 odd books to break even. So, all right, so a load, load of pan books. We have uh, Jean Plady, Queen Jezebel. Jean Plady, The Italian Woman. I'll let you know when I see any that I am actually gonna read. Jean Plady, Madam Serpent. Jean Plady, Light on Lucretia. Are these all Jean Plady? Jean Plady, The Thistle and the Rose. I've never heard of Jean Plady. Jean Plady, The Spanish Bridegroom. We'll just assume they're all him here. I think these are all him. The Sixth Wife. Madonna of the Seven Hills. Murder Most Royal. Are these all John Plady? He wrote a lot, apparently. The Captive Queen of Scots. Royal Road to Fotheringay. Gaylord Robert. <laughs> the Three Crowns. The Road to Compiègne. Louis, Louis the Well Beloved. Here Lies Our Sovereign Lord. A Health Unto His Majesty. The Wondering Prince. Damn, this is an entire box of Jean Plady. The Bastard King. The Lion of Justice. The Revolt of the Eagles. The Plantagenet Prelude. The Goddess of the Green Room. The Princess of Cell. The Queen's Favourites. The Haunted Sisters. The Passionate Enemies, The Queen's Husband, and The Prince and the Quakeress. Now, he did actually say he'd, he'd, he'd thrown in a bunch of extra ones for me, so it could well be that these are those. I mean, they are Pan, who did publish sci-fi, but these are actually historical fiction. Not that that's necessarily a problem. I'm not going to read them, so... <laughs> but I will reintroduce them to the economy and make it much more manageable for someone who only wants to read one of these things. Okay, that's one box. Oh! Oh! Ah, this one's heavier. Actually, that one was the smallest, lightest box. All right, so what we got in here? All right, this looks promising. Something about a mystery planet. So we're on the right track. We found some sci-fi. Oh my lordy lord, right, what have we got? Okay, oh my god, there's loads. So we've got E.E. E. Doc Smith, the classic family D'Alembert series, Revolt of the Galaxy. I'm never gonna be able to spell all these authors in the, in the bit down below. Greg Bear, Heads. We have some more E.E. E. Doc Smith here. Skylark 3 and the Clockwork Traitor. Aha! Isaac Asimov, The Stars in Their Courses. That one's going on the keep list. The Final Encyclopedia by Gordon R. Dixon. So we've got E.E. E. Doc Smith's classic Lensman series, Galactic Patrol. Uh, as much as I hate to do it, I think I'm gonna have to just chuck this one because I can't really sell it on. Uh, maybe I'll do some arty project with it or something. 
Here we have Catherine Kerr, A Time of Justice, Days of Air and Darkness. Asimov, oh here we go, here we go. The rest of the robots, I actually already have this one unfortunately. <laughs> Pebble in the Sky, I don't already have this one. That's a keepy. Philip K. Dick, Time Out of Joint, that's on the keep pile. Oh my lord, here we go, here we go. We're getting to the gold here. Philip K. Dick, The World Jones Made. Philip K. Dick, Eye in the Sky. Keeping both of those. Uh, we have Dahlgren by Samuel R. Delaney here. It's a bit of a chunker. And I read another Delaney novel and didn't particularly enjoy it, so I'm not going to bother with it. Great Short Stories of the World with an introduction by Gerda Charles. This is probably another bonus. Oh, God. All right. Uh, we have The Martian Way by Isaac Asimov. Another one I've read, actually. The End of Eternity. One of my favourite Asimovs. That I've already read, unfortunately. Early Asimov Volume 2. Already got it. Pebble in the Sky. We have that down here as well. So we have that one twice. So unfortunately, none of those actually keeps. We have Against Infinity by Gregory Benford. Beyond the Beyond by Paul Anderson. Vault of the Ages by Paul Anderson. The Best of Sci-Fi, 17 times Infinity. Great science fiction by various people. That's interesting because we've got... Asimov, Ray Bradbury, but we've got Rudyard Kipling, E.M. Forster, and some others. I will probably keep this one, I think. I don't know, because there's a lot of... Okay, I'm going to keep this as well, I think. The best from fantasy and science fiction. Robert A. Hunt... Well, it depends. Is Asimov in it? No, I'm not going to read this one. I'm going to skip these ones. Uh, the best from fantasy and science fiction, edited by Robert P. Mills. And uh, Dragons, Elves, and Heroes, edited by Lynn Carter. All right, what else we got? Stephen, <laughs> Stephen Donaldson, White Gold Wielder. Oh, we have Isaac Asimov, The Robots of Dawn. Again, another one I have. Isaac Asimov, Forward the Foundation. One that I don't have. We got here, The Second Ghost Book, edited by Lady Cynthia Asquith. Asquith. The Third Pan Book of Horror Stories, selected by Herbert Van Thaal. Great, great Ghost Stories, uh, edited by Herbert Van Thaal. Again, We've got Wilkie Collins and stuff in that. This is so many books. Oh, oh no! Philip K. Dick, Counter Clock World. What a title. That's on the keep pile. John Brunner, Telepathist. John Brunner, Born Under Mars. Ray Bradbury, The Illustrated Man. I have actually read this one already. Oh, hello! J.G. Ballard, The Four Dimensional Nightmare. That's a keepsy. Ballard's on my want to complete list. And Asimov, The Stars Like Dust. Another one I don't have. So we're doing well. I'm, ex I'm impressed. Foundation's Edge. Oops. Foundation's Edge. I think I have Foundation's Edge. I'm going to have to check that one. The Caves of Steel. I have read that one before. The Gods Themselves. Unfortunately, this is another knackered version of it. Um, and I also already have that one. What have we got here? Dawn Spell by Catherine Kerr. Oh, wow. What an addition, The Lord of the Rings by J.R.R. Tolkien. And this is The Lord of the Rings. So it's the bind up of all three. What we got here? The Foundation Trilogy by Isaac Asimov. I might not have Second Foundation, so this might be the only one I have for Second Foundation. Again, I'll have to check that. Holy moly. <laughs> Earthworks by Brian Aldiss. Oh. Mervyn Peake, J.G. Ballard and Brian W. Aldiss. The Inner Landscape. It seems to be three novellas. Um, definitely going to read that one because, again, Ballard. We have uh, Douglas Adams, So Long and Thanks for All the Fish. I have read that. Okay, that's two of the four boxes done. Yeah. <laughs> I tell you what, I genuinely think that this set of books was probably worth about 500 quid, but hey ho. Right, what we got in here? Short fantasy novels presented by Isaac Asimov. 13 novels! I definitely don't want to read 13 fantasy novels in one book. But that's interesting. I would say those look like 13 novellas to me. 
Live and Let Die by Ian Fleming. Uh, I've read all the Bond books already. Spy Who Loved Me. Three Comrades by Eric Maria Remarque. He wrote All Quiet on the Western Front, cracking book. The Heaven Makers, with a cover that I can't really show, by Frank Herbert, the author of Dune, so I guess I'm keeping that one. Frank Herbert and Bill Ransom, The Jesus Incident. I mean, again, it's Frank Herbert, so I guess I'll keep it. Herman Hesse, Steppenwolf. Uh, I, might, I might read Steppenwolf. Frank Herbert, The Green Brain. I actually didn't know Frank Herbert had as many non-June novels. Uh, Catherine Kerr, Dragon Spell. Catherine Kerr, A Time of Omens. Catherine Kerr, A Time of War. Catherine Kerr, A Time of Exile. Dragonflight by Anne McCaffrey. My dad used to love Anne McCaffrey, but I, I don't know, it's never been something I got into. Ursula K. Le Guin, City of Illusion. Yeah, I'll give that a go. The Fall of the Towers by Samuel R. Delaney. Um, again, I didn't really like Delaney when I read him before. Oh, here we have again. The Mammoth Bu Book of Vintage Science Fiction. Ten short novels. Empire of the Atom and The Wizard of Lynn by A.E. Van Vogt. A.E. Van Gogh, The Mind Cage. It also has Children of Tomorrow here. Beloved Son by George Turner. I saw, I'm actually getting genuinely, war, genuinely worn out here, and we, we've still got loads to go. Bunch by Robert Silverberg here. So we have Invaders from Earth, Tower of Glass. Project, Project Dracula, Frederick Pohl. Uh, oh, hang on, no. Project Dracula by Alan Scott. Uh, the Age of Pussyfoot and Drunkard's Walk by Frederick Pohl. E.E. E. Doc Smith's classic Lensman series, First Lensman. Okay, uh, The Dolphins of Pern by Anne McCaffrey. Uh, the Bermuda Triangle by Charles Berlitz. The Renegades of Pern by Anne McCaffrey. And what's this? Gateway by Frederick Pohl. Oh, my stamina, I can't haul like I used to when I was a younger man. <laughs> Dorsal by Gordon R. Dixon. This is all like the equivalent of 100 US dollars or something. It's insane. These are all by Frederick, no, Frederick Pohl. Beyond the Blue Event Horizon. And again, uh, by Frederick Pohl. Heechee Rendezvous. E.E. E. Doc Smith's classic Lensman series, Grey Lensman. Oh, I see some good stuff. I'm gonna like it. Rest Force by Anne McCaffrey. Some Star Wars novels here. Uh, Star Wars Volume One: Heir, Heir to the Empire by Timothy Zahn. Volume Two: Dark Force Rising. Volume Three: The Last Command. And here we have Kurt Vonnegut, Galapagos, Cat's Cradle, The Sirens of Titan, Player Piano. And uh, I've been meaning to get to more Vonnegut. And I don't think I have any of those. What's this? Donald Lindquist, Bernal, Ber Berlin Tunnel 21. Tolkien, Farmer Giles of Ham and the Adventures of Tom Bombadil. I'm pretty sure I've read those. Uh, J.R.R. Tolkien, edited by Christopher Tolkien, The Children of Hurin. Definitely read that. Tolkien, The Silmarillion. And here we have The Hobbit as well, really old. What's this? Unwin Books Edition. Wow. The Iron Throne by Algis Budris. I'm going to do this last one and I need a break. Nift the Lean by Michael Shea. Hello, let's go through some more of these books. Good lordy loo, there are a lot of them. Uh. Right, let's finish this box and then there's the other big box. The Citadel of Fear by Francis Stevens. All Flesh is Grass by Clifford Simak. We have 
E. 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 Doc Smith's classic Lensman series, Masters of the Vortex. <laughs> Get Off the Unicorn by Anne McCaffrey. Yeah, oh! The Haunter of the Dark and Other Tales of Terror by the Supreme Creator of Supernatural Horror, H.P. Lovecraft. That's on the keep pile. Robert Heinlein, The Puppet Masters. Uh, I probably won't keep it, just, uh, I've got so many books in this that I already want to keep, and Heinlein's not a particularly favoured author of mine, I guess. I will keep this, though, uh, The Shadow Over Innsmouth and Other Stories of Horror by H.P. Lovecraft. Here we have Stephen Donaldson, uh, Lord Fowl's Bane and The One Tree. These are the Second Chronicles of Thomas Covenant. Um, very famous series, it's just, I'm not too interested in it. Again, with over 200 books, I can't read them all, you know? Oh, here's The, uh, the Wounded Land by uh, Stephen Donaldson. Thomas M. Ditch, Camp Concentration. Robert Heinlein, Stranger in a Strange Land. I, I will keep this one because this is one of his particularly well-known ones. Uh, the Worm Robberus by E.R. Edison. Uh, Tales of Horror and the Supernatural by Arthur Macken. The Power That Preserves by Stephen Donaldson. This is another one that is unfortunately knackered. They Walk Like Men by Clifford Simak. Lord Valentine's Castle by Robert Silverberg. God, there's so much, right. Bird of Prey by Colleen Toomey. A Thriller for the Electronic Age. When was this published? 1982. That well-known electronic age before the rise of the World Wide Web. Anne McCaffrey, The Rowan. Anne McCaffrey, The White Dragon. And Dragon Song. Black Crusade, A Fantasy of Exotic Horror by Arthur Macken. The Hill of Dreams by Arthur Macken. John Limington or Limington, uh, The Grey Ones. Don Rodriguez, Chronicles of Shadow Valley. Uh, Witch World by Andre Norton. Oh! What's this? Uh, the Ilioth War by Stephen Donaldson. Battlefield Earth by L. Ron Hubbard. This is literally a Bible, so we should not be surprised that he then wrote is mad shit. I can't, I wonder when he was even. The Eyes of Heisenberg by Frank Herbert will keep. Robert Heinlein, The Moon is a Harsh Mistress. Uh, Anne McCaffrey, All the Weirs of Pern. Robert A. Heinlein, Farnham's Freehold. Ring World by Larry Niven. This is really famous, isn't it? I think I am going to read this because I have heard of Ring World. Philip K. Dick, A Maze of Death. The Ringway Virus by Russell Foreman. Death World by Harry Harrison. Oh, blimey. All three of Robert A. Heinlein's Assignment in Eternity stories of speculative fiction. Robert A. Heinlein, Friday. Wow, what a cover. Got to get down. Uh, Robert A. Heinlein, Expanded Universe. The cover's just fallen off of that one. So that one's going to have to go, unfortunately. Uh, and then we have... Oh, these all look like keeps. In fact, they are. So the case of Charles Dexter Ward, Sinister Seething, Sinister Seething Horror, Strictly for the Iron Nerved Addict by H.P. Lovecraft. Frank Herbert, Children of June. Frank Herbert, Heretics of Dune. Frank Herbert, Dune Messiah. Already read that one. And uh, Frank Herbert, the, Sarat the Santa, Santa Roga Barber. Right. Last box. This is the biggest one though, mate. So I don't know how, how we're going to get on. Okay. We're going to actually have to open it like this to even lighten the load to make it more manoeuvrable. Oh my god. Oh my god. 
Oh my god, right. Right, where do we go? We'll just keep going. All right, The Man From Uncle by Michael Avalone. I believe that's based on a TV show, I don't know. The Turquoise by Anya Seaton. Tanglewood Tales by Nathaniel Hawthorne. Oh, another Man From Uncle one by... They didn't even say on this one. Oh, Harry Whittington, The Doomsday Affair. This one looks like it's going to be a poorer box, I think. Clifford Simak, Waystation. Cloette, The Thousand and One Nights of Jamaica. Jamma Cat. Jamma Cat. Arch of Triumph by M. Eric Maria Remarque. Nigel Reese, Graffiti 2. John Wayne, but not the cowboy. Hurry on down. Oh God. Nigel Reese, very interesting but stupid. Larry Niven, The Ringworld Engineers. I probably won't keep going with the series for that long. W Somerset Moham. W Somerset Moham of Human Bondage. Frank Herbert, The Dosardi Experiment. Norman Mailer, An American Dream. Sinclair Lewis, Dodsworth. John, John Steinbeck, East of Eden, that's a keeper. What's this? John Steinbeck, The Pearl and Burning Bright, another keeper. Richard Adams, Shardick, yeah, I thought it was about a bear or some shit. Oh, he wrote Watership Down, I see. What's this? The Filth Amendment. Rushton versus Sex Dreams. No, I think we're good. The Leopard by Giuseppe de Lampedusa. The Last Temptation of Christ by Nikos Kazantzakis. Three Men in a Boat by Jerome K. Jerome. Uh, no, I'm good at the moment. Maybe I'll come back to it later. Well, these these are interesting. You've got to go and see. Children of the New Forest, does that say? Captain Frederick Marriott. Right. René Bazin, La Terre qui meurt. Uh, this is actually in French, so I might keep this. The Sketchbook by jo John Irving. By Washington Irving. Cool. Uh, Major Thompson Lives in France and Major Thompson and I by Pierre Daninos. Let's continue. An Inland Voyage Travels with a Donkey, Silverado Squatters, uh, Stevenson, Robert Louis Stevenson. I mean, I wonder if this was from his dad. The Magus, John Fowles. Graham Greene, Brighton Rock, one of, uh, well, actually not my favourite Graham Greens, but one of my favourite authors. Our Man in Havana, one of my favourite Graham Greens. And uh, Lord of the Flies here. Oh, hello. I see what that is. A lot of stuff here that's nice bonuses. All right, Jean Plady, The Heart of the Lion. This here we have The Moonstone by Wilkie Collins. So I'm keeping that one. We have The Uprising by Livio Rebriano. Rebriano. The Comrade by Cesar Pavès. The Political Prisoner by Cesar Pavès. The Octopus by Frank Norris. Roman Tales by Alberto Moravia. Two Women by Alberto Moravia. Forbidden Colours by Yukio Mishima. We have To a God Unknown by John Steinbeck, Cup of Gold by John Steinbeck, and The Wayward Bus by John, John Steinbeck, all going on my list. Men at Arms by Evelyn Woe, I'm alright. Uh, Red Dirt Marijuana and Other Tastes 
by Terry Southern. Wow. Virgin Soil Upturned by Mikhail Sholokov. Bud Schulberg's acid novel, What Makes Sammy Run. Mary Reno, Fire From Heaven. The Bull From The Sea by Mary Reno. Almost there, sort of. Thomas Wolfe of Time and the River. Homer's Odyssey, I have of course read that before. John M. Ale, The Mammoth Hunters. Thomas Wolfe, You Can't Go Home Again. Look Homeward Angel by Thomas Wolfe. William Carlos Williams, White Mule. I've read Williams' poetry, but not any of his fiction. Nice. Check that out. Anne McCaffrey, Dragon's Dawn. Anne Seaton, Avalon. Anne Seaton, Devil Water. Herman Melville, Billy Budd and the Encantadas. Herman Melville, The Confidence Man. Oh, hello. James McGovern, Fraulein. But it is in English, otherwise I might have kept it. Perhaps it be German. Once Around the Sun by DJ Finley. H.G. Wells Keep, The New Machiavelli. Uh, the Red and the Black by Stendhal. George Gissing, New Grub Street. Paul Gallico, Scruffy, A Diversion. The Snow Goose, A Story of Dunkirk by Paul Gallico. Oh. Wuthering Heights by Emily Bronte. They Walk the Wild Places by Wentworth Day. Lucky Jim by Kingsley Ami, one of his more well-known ones. Tower of London, Volume 1 by Mary Primple by William Harrison Ainsworth. So they've just covered it with this stuff. Uh, Tower of London, Volume 2. Warship Down by Richard Adams. The Scarlet Letter by Nathaniel Hawthorne. The Man from uh, the Copenhagen Affair by John Oram. The Good, Sh the Good Soldier by Ford Maddox Ford. Absalom, Absalom by William Faulkner. Quentin Durward by Sir Walter Scott. This is My Cousin Rachel by Daphne du Maurier. Uh, I think I've read it, or I have it. But uh, that, that cover's knackered anyway. Dragonflight by Anne McCaffrey. The White Dragon by Anne McCaffrey. Catherine by Anya Seaton. The Palaces by Anthony Trollope. Oh, hang on. The Eustace Diamonds by Anthony Trollope, sorry. And Phineas Finn by Anthony Trollope. The Avatar by Paul Anderson. Oh, cool. The Beatles, Yellow Submarine. this. Keeping that. That's awesome. The Horn by John Clellan Hones. That's what that picture gives me. Herzog by Sal Bellow. The Autocrat of the Breakfast Table by Oliver Wendell Holmes. The Marble Fawn by Nathaniel Hawthorne. Lord Jim by Joseph Conrad. The Winthrop Woman by Anya Seaton. The Quincunx by Charles Pallister. The Gold Soldier Schweik by Yaroslav Hasek. The Autobiography of a Super Tramp by W.H. Davis. The Enormous Room by E.E. E. Cummings. And King Solomon's Mines by Ryder Haggard. Almost there, guys. Almost there. The Decameron by Boccaccio. Hungry Hill by Daphri de Maurier. Uh, I just don't want to read that edition of it, to be perfectly honest. Clock Merle by Gabriel Chevalier. Translated, unfortunately. The Inferno by Henry Wadsworth Longfellow. Gore Vidal's Myra Beckett Breckinridge. What's this? The Trumpet Major by Thomas Hardy. Some more Graham Greene. The Confidential Agent and the Honorary Consul. I, I've read The Confidential Agent for sure, but I don't know about The Honorary Consul. I'll have to check that. Robert Adams, The Coming of the Horse Clans. 
and The Last of the Mohicans by Fenimore Cooper. Well, it's kind of nice that the last one in the list was The Last of the Mohicans. I'm fucking covered in dust, mate. Absolutely covered. Ah. But yes. It's the right old mess in here, as you can probably imagine from what I've been getting up to. So, um, if you give me a little bit of time, I need to sort through these piles. Uh, yeah, I need to sort through these piles. 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39. So I've got 39 books out of that that I want to read. So bear in mind I paid 60 quid for it. I think that's, I mean, that's 150 a book, which is decent as charity shop prices, just for the books that I've added to my TBR. And then I effectively got all of the other ones that I didn't add to my TBR for free. So as long as I sell them for more than it cost me to post them, some nice little profit there. And that's kind of what I've been doing with e eBay really. And like, because I, I, it started out, I was downsizing my own collection and getting rid of a load of my old books. And um, now I've kind of, I've downsized a lot of my collection, but then I've been augmenting it because I'm starting to build up my TBR again by buying these job lots, you know? Uh, it just gives me more choice. I think I'd rather have a, a library of unread books than one of red books at this point because I have so many red books that it's just a nightmare to stay on top of them. So I'd rather have my big old library of unread books that I can dip into. And I've got my digital library of my red books, you know, there's two and a half thousand in there nearly, so can't really blame me for uh, skipping. But on that note, as always, thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments if you've read any of these books. I'm sure you've read at least one of them. Uh, hit that subscribe button for more and I'll see you soon for another bookish video. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.